Hi Leo, this is your reading for July the 6th to the 12th, 2020 and welcome back if you're a cyber angel and welcome if you are new and you've just landed on this channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell on all, then you'll be notified uh, when I go live. I go live Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Um, this is the nine card spread that I also use in extensive readings. If you would like to have an extensive readings, there's information below the video in the description box or in the top right hand corner. Uh, uh, the white circle with the eye and that will take you to the website and there you can see the readings on offer. There will be a new reading added on this week and this is your weekly reading. I'm using the night card nine card spread, Mo uh, the Quirin card or the t uh, all over energy, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday and the four corner cards that will clarify the three cards around the corner card or vice versa. And also the angel feather oracle deck and the crystal oracle deck and the answer of the angels. Um, there will be a new reading added on to the website and that is a crystal ball reading because I've been asked to do crystal ball readings. Yes, I do. I first do the crystal ball and then I clarify it with tarot or lenamon cards and oracle cards. Okay, so here we go. The first card that we have is the overall card or the querent card. You will be getting news this week as you have the Page of Swords. Or you could be meeting a Gemini, a Libra or an Aquarium. This news will come through text message or through uh, airmail, uh, paper, that's the old fashioned way, or cyber, that's air, uh, telephone call, text message or email. Now, um, on Monday, you have the Strength card, and the Strength card also represents Leo, since it is a major arcana card. You are in your strength, and remember, strength is patience and love and nurturing, because usually it is depicted with um, a lion and a lady, and a lady has been patient and nurturing and caring, and loving and has won over the heart of the lion. So here you are, grandma or mother love has been patient and has calmed down her child. Or you can see it as you are so strong and you've been patient and you've been working on yourself and you've calmed down you've tamed the lion within you but you do remain strong you're standing your ground you are stronger than you realize because what i see is two heads or two bodies in the same dress so that could be your other side your shadow side so you are standing in your strength not only that but of course this could also mean that you could be meeting a Leo okay sorry I just have to adjust the camera so you might be meeting a Leo okay let's keep that in mind on uh, Wednesday you have the six of wands wow you have recognition from the community or in other words public recognition you've got victory you have done something and you're getting recognized from it publicly well done you are a champion you are moving on and upwards so you might be getting that promotion or getting that job that you applied for or you've done some good well remember if you do good or bad you'll get it back threefold Okay, that's what we call karma. So now you're getting it back threefold by recognition of the community and the public. You might be moving home. You might be going on holiday. And um, it could be to a warm country. Because usually the knights went to the Holy Grail and that was in warm countries. Israel, Spain, 
that are Greece around their Rome. So that is where I get my idea from, from a warm country. But there will be celebrations about something. Perhaps you might have passed your exams or your uh, entry exam to university. Okay. Or you might have just finished uh, a workshop and you've got your certificate. Great stuff. Congratulations. And you have on Friday, you have the Emperor. Now the Emperor could also be an Arian, uh, Aries. Okay. He represents Aries. So you could be meeting another fire sign, Leo or Aries. Aries is the king of wands, the king of fire. He's a powerful man, he knows what he wants and he goes for it. And that could be new passion, but if you want this passionate relationship to last, then you'll have to know your boundaries and know their boundaries. And I think you do, because you've got the champion card. Wow! And you might get an invite from one of these people. Or you might get a proposal. That could be also um, a, a question at hand. If you are wishing to get married, you most probably will get a proposal or an offer of some kind, like move in. But perhaps you might be more of a traditional uh, girl or man and asking to get, uh, you rather be married. So perhaps you might seek advice from the emperor. And how can I do that? How I don't want to, uh, you know, if somebody says, will you move in with me and you go to a professional and you talk about it, what can I do about that? I would love to be married. I don't want to live together. I'm traditional. And traditional values are good and stable, okay? Now, the emperor could be an advisor of a municipality or an institution. He could be a professional person or a father figure or somebody, a mature man that you respect and trust. I would also say, I don't know why, but I'm saying this, listen to your intuition and follow your gut feeling. If you're not happy with something, then you might be thrown out of your strength. Stand your ground and be strong. Don't accept some kind of offer that you can't live with. It doesn't matter whether it is a job, it doesn't matter whether it's living together or moving in together, because the Six of Wands does mean moving home. Okay. So seek advice where necessary. You do want stability and that is what comes out of this reading. I feel it before I saw the fourth, but four means proper foundations. You want stable relationships, a stable home life. So that's why I said know your boundaries and I think you do. And they must know their boundaries and they must also know your boundaries, whether they are a man or a woman. We are talking about a partnership here, whether it is in love or whether it is in business. At the weekend, you have the Ten of Wands. You've been through a hell of a lot. You've had a heavy time, perhaps, or you've had too many things to do all at once. And now you are finally coming to the end, Leo. You are seeing the end. There's only a few more steps. Because a ten is an ending and number one is a beginning. So you are nearly home high and dry. Just get that right information and do the research. Find out things that you don't know. So that you do build on proper foundations and it will be long-lasting and not a ship through the night. The first card we have is the moon. Yes, the moon shines light on your path. And it's quite apt that this moon is appearing because you've also got the dark side of the moon. There are things that you might not know and that's why you need to do more research or get advice from a professional. 
you are on the right path though because the moon also shines light on your path to the northern node your northern node and your northern node um, has to go inside and be in balance with a partner's northern node that means uh, you want to f want to love you want to feel love but you must also be in balance and have equilibrium and quality in this relationship you have learned from the past and you're not going there you want stability you don't want to carry burdens around with you you don't want to have a partnership that you do everything and you carry their burdens besides your own burdens you are the partner you're not the mother okay you should see yourself as the lover and the nurse that is how you could look at it a nurse takes care of their partner whether it's a man or a woman be the nurse be the carer when they're sick okay then it's time to take over a little bit more extra um, responsibility until get, they get better again and that's how a relationship should be now the moon also represents Pisces so we also have Pisces a water sign within the reading okay um, and obviously Pisces the the moon is very spiritual it's a very spiritual card so like I said listen to your intuition listen to your emotions listen to your gut feeling do not ignore that also if you dream um, and or if you have new ideas when you're meditating or contemplating and evaluating listen to those new ideas don't shy away to ask for help okay remain in your strength okay so if you listen to your intuition you will remain in your strength you might get new ideas these could be messages okay because the air signs are thinkers they stand for thinking wisdom and knowledge and communication and justice but take that element of the air thinkers communication you want to keep the communication going and you don't want to be bogged down with issues okay so this is the message of the moon listen to new ideas and listen to your gut feeling this will keep you in strength and bring you to the new beginning now the second corner is we have the fish and what have I been talking about boundaries the fish don't have boundaries they are in water there are no no boundaries as there is on land so um, know your boundaries and know their boundaries and if you say no learn if you can't say no learn to say no because that is how you can set your boundaries and you can change your boundaries every single day you can work well in groups right so many hands make light work so if you um, if you need to work in a group and there is a deadline then start delegating don't always be the one that does the most that is why you're working in groups don't be the one that's always doing the load of work delegate ask and ask for help if you need more hands okay now the fish also means luck in business and luck in at work okay so that is awesome now um, I'm not using the cartomancy or the numbers unless they jump out so you do have a number 34 so 7 is a lucky number so you 
are having luck on your side. And look at this. You've got a secret synchronicity. Six, seven, eight. Okay. And you're skipping nine. You're going straight to the new beginning and the ending. Number ten. Now, we have another six here. Twenty-four. So that is a double number. Six, six. And you've got the heart. The heart means you will be most probably forming a partnership. You might meet your soulmate because you've got the heart. And that could be your soulmate. It's coming together. It could also be that you are going to start something that you're passionate about or that you lose your heart in, that you love. So that is also, if you look at it this way, when I'm doing the um, extended reading, I also read the cards this way, not only the week and the a general card. Okay. So you have lost your heart and you're the champion. You've worked hard for that. You've set your boundaries and you've even asked advice. Perhaps your father or an uncle or an older brother a ma or it could be somebody professional even if it is to do with work or your own business. You are being seen. Wow! For your strength, for your hard work and that you do everything the right way with legal advice or general advice from mature people that have been there and done that. You are learning fast. Wow! Now, like I said with the moon, there might be something that you don't know or that you can't see and listen to your intuition if something is telling you this does not feel right, this is too good to be true, then believe it. Because look, you've got an other confirmation card. And the angels have your back. You've got a double number. You've got the magnifying glass. So look really careful at details if you are signing contracts. The Emperor and the Hierophant are both men of that are well read and they know how to rule and definitely the emperor he knows how to rule his countries and his kingdom and he knows the letter of the law he's not only an advisor but he's also the head of his kingdoms and he does look at small prints in the contract but the hierophant and the emperor are men of institutions like i said or municipalities so that is the significance uh, meaning of this card so be careful if you're signing contracts for a new job or a, a new house or a marriage a prenuptial marriage agreement things like that if you're going on holiday because you have the six of ones make sure that you recheck uh, the itinerary, the travel papers, that you've got the passport, that you've, uh, you are uh, applying or you are following the rules of COVID-19 because some, trend, some in, uh, countries you are not to enter or you can enter but when you leave, you, when you come back home, you have to isolate for two weeks or you might need a vi uh, visa or you might need some inoculations if you go to India or uh, strange countries like that. So make sure you check your itinerary and your little papers. Okay. Now you've got a beautiful card from the angel uh, uh, Burgundy Angel Feather. Invite a miracle. The angels love receiving invitations to be part of your life. Ask and you shall receive. So this is like a wish card. Ask and you shall receive. Ask the Divine and the Angels to come in and help you, to bring you clarity. And I hope you will be able to uh, feel their presence. Okay. Now, you have the clear quartz crystal. Okay. And that's number 18. So that is a 9. Something is coming to an ending. 
and the meaning of this card is amplification, magnification, expansion and growth. Well, this is what you use the might uh, uh, f uh the magnifying glass for. So this could be expansion of you being the star. You're standing in a spotlight. You're being publicly recognized. The moon is a spotlight. So there could be a Pisces that has an eye on you, or a Leo, or an Aries. So you are being noticed. Something is being magnified. And you have to magnify and check things if you are, for example, signing contracts or traveling. You have grown. You might, like I said, have passed your exam and got your certificate and you have expended your knowledge. And you have grown, you have experienced something in life. That is what you call life experience and life wisdom. That is outside the school banks. When the clear quartz crystal appears, it is time to focus on your growth, on what you want. And like I said, remember, listen to your intuition. That is what you want. Whatever you want, whether it's love, whether it's a job, whatever you appreciate, go for it. You have the experience, you have the strength, make sure you know the boundaries and you have set that and people will respect that if not then you say sorry no learn you have learned there is recovery within a situation or with a question an issue I think there is recovery of you you have grown you have gained knowledge and experience and yes we like I said I opened up the reading with nurturing loving passionate care I think you love yourself more and you're listening to your intuition or your higher self well done and that has brought you into your strength and being recognized as a champion I hope you've enjoyed this reading, Leo, and stay strong, and I love you loads. You are in your element, right? Take care, and God bless. Please like and share, and if you would like to be the first one, then please give us the likes, and you might be the first uh, zodiac sign that I'll be reading next week. Take care, God bless, and be blessed. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all. And I'll see you in the life. Monday, Wednesday or Friday. Ciao, ciao.